Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. We're here at E3 with... Uh, Justin, um, part of Gatai Games. Uh, it's a Singapore-based indie game studio, and we're working on this game called Stifle. Yep. Can you tell me what it's all about? What's, what's your objective? Right, uh, so Stifle is a VR and mic-enabled sound-based horror game. So it's a game where you use sound to see. So what we mean by that is, uh, in the game, when you make noise, like your footsteps, your your throwing items, your anything that creates sound in the game creates like a pulse that illuminates its area for a bit. So the more sound you make in the game, the more you see. But the kicker is like all the enemies in the game hear sound. So there's this balance between like, okay, I need to know where I'm going, but I don't want to make too much noise so know the enemy can get me. So yeah, and then we also have a microphone input. So let's say you talk in real life, or the game scares you and you scream or you cough, or your, or your friend's just messing with you. Uh, the microphone picks up the sound, the sounds create the pulse in the game, and the enemies can hear that, so it just makes the game worse when you get scared. <laughs> That's yeah. not fair. Uh, I never say the game was fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello? for the game? Um, so the sound based idea came largely from this animation of a little girl. Uh, it's pretty, a pretty like innocent in the animation. She was like a blind little girl trying to find her way around the world like by tapping on the wall, tapping on the ground and that served as the platform or like the jumping off board to, for us to make like a sound based game. And over time we came up with the art style. Like it's a very striking, mostly black, um, a white outlines and then some red highlights most of the game. Uh, once the art style came about, like, uh, like the sound designer was like, hey, I think this makes sense for horror. So we just, from there on, we just like, went full time, go knee deep into horror. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, is this a single player game? Can you yeah. play co op? Is it online, multiplayer? Mm -hmm. uh, the game is fairly narrative driven and it's for single player. Uh, so yeah, it's about three to five hours of single player experience. Yeah, that's all about it, yeah. And on what headsets are you able to get this? Uh, so the game will be coming out for the PSVR, Oculus, and Vive. Uh, I cannot guarantee that it's going to be a seamless. We're still trying to work out some contracts and some marketing plans as we go. So yeah, but it will be coming out on those platforms for VR. And yeah. is this the first VR game that you've done? So we are fresh grads from school and then we just started a studio and then said, hey, VR is cool. We have a cool game that works for VR, so why not just do it for VR, yeah. Amazing. So what are your next plans after this? Uh, so we have some game ideas we have in plan. Uh, some VR, some not VR, and for us at E3 right now, Part of the thing is to show off Stifle. The other part is like trying to work on some business deals, trying to talk to people about new games and see if we can get it, like get some help and then work together with some other people. Great, yeah. where can we find more information about the game? Um, so the game can be found via www.stifledgame.com. So it's S-T-I-F-L-E-D-G-A-M-E.com. And from there you have a bunch of links to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our mailing list. Uh, and the mailing list and all, all these places are the best place to find more information on the game. Amazing, yeah. great, thank you cool. so much. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah. Head over to vrfocus.com if you want to hear.